Can I ask that kind of a strange question? The, the, is there any discussion in the, in the committee of luxury goods and, the, I mean, non-armament, but other, other, I'm thinking of the Rodman trip, there's, there's press coverage in the U.S. that, like, somehow these gifts may violate, uh, yeah, may violate yeah. sanctions. Mm -hmm. I mean, there was no discussion on this issue uh, today or on issues of, like, but luxury goods are under sanctions and they are all regularly places where uh, uh, of violations where luxury goods have been stopped and, uh, and uh, these cases have been referred to, to the council uh, in this respect, yes. Because if you look at the resolutions uh, next to the whole issues on uh, non-proliferation, there is also an embargo on luxury goods in order uh, because obviously the feeling of the council is that uh, DPRK, I mean luxury goods are definitely going to uh, if you have an embargo on luxury goods, this is going to hurt you know, the leading uh, <laughs> uh, parties, which are the ones here. But here the report was like Dennis Rodman gave a mink, a mink coat and, you know, alcohol, hundreds of dollars of alcohol. Does that rise to the level of something the committee would consider, or is that too low? Uh, I mean, it's I know it's kind say, of but, yeah. <laughs> but I, I know I could imagine very much this is not now too low or whatever, right. because you also have other goods where you wouldn't obviously necessarily immediately say this is luxury goods, mm -hmm. but, uh, but in the case of DPRK, it would be classified as luxury goods. I appreciate it. Yeah.